Hey queens, it's your girl Princess T and I am back with another hair tutorial. So if you would like to see how I installed this quick weave and slayed this lace closure, stay tuned because you don't want to miss it. It's not very typical that you find people doing a quick weave with a lace closure but today we about to make it happen so the first thing you want to do is start off with your braid pattern so i'm just braiding the hair down to the sides and connecting them in the back and then after i finish connecting them i'm going to do like a circular pattern in the middle to get everything taken care of you can choose whatever braid pattern you like and what suits you but this is what works for me <music> In order to install the closure, you want to line up that part that's on the closure with the part in your client's head and then make a small part in the beginning of the closure, leaving a small amount of hair out so that when you sew underneath the braid in the closure, you won't see the thread peeking through. So now I'm just going to braid, excuse me, I'm not braiding nothing, I already braided. I'm going to sew three or four stitches on one side and then sew three or four stitches on the other side using a looping method. Once you do that part, you want to make sure that your part is totally aligned with the part in your client's head so that you won't see any black spots. And this way, you won't have to use anything like concealer or some type of makeup to cover up the black and it'll blend perfectly with your client's scalp. <laughs> down both sides of the closure you want to go ahead and sew down the back portion of the closure to make sure that the closure is completely intact <laughs> finish installing the closure you want to cut off half of the lace not all the lace make sure you do not cut off all of the lace because you want to keep a little extra piece of the lace so that you can sew your last track onto it which just provides extra security so that your closure doesn't move around or wiggle it gives me peace of mind to make sure that my closure won't be out here shifting and moving and looking crazy because we ain't got time to be out here looking crazy after that, I just did two twists on both sides of the closure to pin it forward so that when I put the caps on, the hair from the closure won't get in my way while I'm trying to glue it down. Plus, I don't want to get any glue on the hair from the closure because it gets clumpy and lumpy and then if I try to comb it out, it might pull too many strands out from the closure. Then I'm just taking some visible concealer and outlining the parameter of the braid so I know exactly where I want my tracks to lay and I won't have to guess where to stop the track. And it just causes for a smoother and faster install. <laughs> For the quick weave portion. 
portion of the hair, I'm just using some regular hair glue that I got from my local hair store. It doesn't matter what brand you get because they all work the same if you ask me. And I'm using some Pump It Up Spritz in my blow dryer. So basically, I'm just taking the track, applying some hair glue, placing it where I want it to be, sealing it down, and then hitting it with some spritz, and then going over it with the blow dryer. And I'm going to keep doing that all the way to the top until I reach the lace closure. Well, actually, I'm going to stop one track before I get to the lace closure because I want to sew that last track down. of this install we're going to cut off the excess cap and begin to lay down our final track doing the loop and stitch method that I use on the lace closure y'all please excuse my niece she just would not sit still doing this video and you will see her running back and forth throughout the video but please just disregard but anyways so once you get to the last track you are going to put one stitch underneath the braid to secure the thread and then you're going to go ahead and penetrate the weft and take your needle underneath the braid and then on top of the closure. You want to go on top of the closure so that you don't have that excess lace hanging over your weft because then when you comb down the lace closure part you'll see the little lace piece sticking out. You want that part to be as hidden as possible. around the closure to make sure that it is completely secure and once you finish with that go ahead and cut off the excess thread and the excess track <laughs> to go back and cut off the rest of the cap that is on the perimeter of your client's head. And we are finished. Thanks again for watching my video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And if you would like to see how I styled and cut this bob, stay tuned because I will be back with another tutorial. And you know what she told us to? Don't even. Is this a video? Don't, don't.